a grain dealer cheats to the extent of 10% while buying as well as selling by using false weights his total gain is now try and understand a very simple one line question but a lot of complexity involved here right it says the dealer cheats to the extent of 10% while buying as well as selling using false weights now this is important he is using false weights so we need to understand that the gain that he's going to make here is only in terms of the quantity of the grains but not in terms of kind of price for example while the question is not explicitly specified about selling price or cost price we have to assume that he's selling at the same price he's selling it at the cost price itself selling price is equal to the cost price he is not he is not making a profit by increasing or adding up to the cost price he is making a profit by changing the weight by using false weights okay so selling price is going to be equal to the cost price so for example if you assume that cost price is rupees let's say 100 per kg right the selling price is also going to be rupees 100 per kg now the question would be how would he make a profit if both selling price and cost price are the same the profit would be made in terms of quantity right he is cheating to the extent of 10% while selling as well as uh while buying so what exactly happens here see try and understand the situation he is gone to the let's say distributor from where he buys right see he goes to the distributor from the distributor the amount comes to uh, the, the item comes to the dealer and from the dealer it goes to the customer right this is how it's going to work now actually what is supposed to happen the distributor gives him 1 kg he sells 1 kg and makes profit so suppose if he has paid x rupees he may charge 1.2x rupees to the customer and make 0.2x as the profit but in this case x is same selling price and cost price both are same but the quantities are varying so what happens see the dealer buys 1 kg 1 kg from the distributor but somehow he is using a false weight so what he does is instead of getting 1 kg he gets 1.1 kg so for example let's say the dealer gives a requirement i want 1 kg the dealer has given requirement that i need 1 kg of whatever the item is and i'll pay you 100 rupees for that right so he pays 100 rupees he pays rupees 100 to get how much 1 1 kg but instead he actually gets 1.1 kg right he pays 100 rupees he supposed to get 1 kg but instead of 1 kg he has got 1.1 kg right he supposed to get 1 kg but he got 1.1 kg let me put it this way so that all of you can follow it easily he was supposed to get 1 kg but he he has used a false means and he bought 1.1 kg instead he he got 1.1 kg not bought he is paid 100 only but he got 1.1 kg now he goes to the the customer comes to him the customer says i'll pay you 100 rupees i'll pay you let's say rupees 100 for whatever that item is i want 1 kg of that item so dealer is supposed to give him 1 kg but instead of 1 kg he gives only 0.9 kg he gives only 0.9 kg are able to follow he gives only 0.9 kg so in this whole transaction if you observe he has got 100 grams extra while buying it from the distributor and he has sold 100 grams less while selling it to the customer so his overall profit is 200 grams on a costing of only 0.9 kg understand his overall profit is 200 grams what is his overall profit 200 grams so i can simply say the profit here that he is going to make the profit that is going to make is 200 grams on a cost of 0.9 kg see remember the final cost is only what he has actually given to the customer he has spent amount only for 0.9 kg but he gained 200 grams a 200 same right what is profit profit is how do you calculate profit percentage again we cannot calculate the exact gain we can only calculate the gain percentage so profit percentage is given as profit by cost price into 100 profit is 200 grams cost price is 0.9 kg into 100 simplify this so 0.9 kg is like 900 grams right 900 grams so 200 by 900 into 100 which is like 2 by 9 and you know what 2 by 9 is 2 by 9 is 22.22 percentage 22.22 percentage so his profit here is going to be 22.22 percentage the profit that he makes is going to be 22.22 percentage this is the simple solution to this question now if you want you can actually use rupees and all to work out like for example let's assume the cost is 100 rupees if you want to play with amount you can do the same thing let's say the cost is 100 rupees now he is paid 100 rupees for how much 1.1 kg let's do the costing calculation right let's do the costing calculation he is paid 100 rupees for how much 1.1 kg right and he has got uh, he has sold uh, for 100 rupees how much 
zero point nine kgs. Now we have to calculate the profit. You know that profit can be calculated only if cost price and selling price are with respect to the same quantity. But here the quantities are different. Cost price is for one point one kg, selling price is for zero point nine kg. So you cannot calculate profit directly here. What do you have to do? You have to make the quantities equal. So how do you do that? If one point one kg is costing us hundred rupees, one kg will cost us how much? 1 kg will cost us how much? Do the calculation. 1 into 100 by 1.1. Similarly, selling price. If the selling price of 0 0.9 kg is 100 rupees, what will be the selling price of 1 kg? How do you do that calculation again? This will be 1 into 100. 1 into 100 upon 0 0.9. So this is the actual cost price for 1 kg. This is cost price for 1 kg. And this is the selling price for 1 kg. Right? Now use this cost price and selling price to find out the profit. So how do you calculate the profit? Profit percentage. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100. So 100 by 0 0.9 minus cost price. Selling price minus cost price. 100 by 1.1 divided by cost price. 100 by 100 by 1.1 into 100. You are able to follow selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100. So 100 anyway gets cancelled in the numerator here. What are we left with? 1 by 0 0.9 minus 1 by 1.1. So if we do the simplification there, we will get 1.1 minus 0 0.9 divided by 1.1 into 0 0.9 whole divided by 1 by 1.1 into 100. So 1.1, 1.1 gets cancelled here. This becomes 1.1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.2. So overall, you are left with what? 0 0.2 by 0 0.9 into 100. 0 0.2 by 0 0.9 into 100 is 2 by 9 into 100. The same calculation. 2 by 9 into 100 is 22.22 percentage. You are able to follow? So either do it in terms of rupees here, you will get the same amount. 2 by 9 into 100, same value. 2 by 9 into 100, 22.22 percentage. Or work in terms of the weight. His gain is 200 grams over a costing of 900 grams. Right? He is only giving 900 grams. He has spent worth 900 grams, but he is getting 200 grams extra there. His profit is 200 grams. So 200 by 900 multiplied by 100, right, will give you the profit percentage. So 22.22 is the answer here, 22.22 percentage. And I'm sure all of you have understood this clearly. So 